click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Imam Bakr is the fifth Imam. He is the son of the fourth Imam and his title is Bakr, which means the breaker of knowledge. In his era, many of his students were educated and attained wisdom from his school. One day, a Christian asked the Imam his name. The Imam replied, Muhammad Bakr. Bakr? Bakr means cow, doesn't it? The Imam said, I am Bakr. So you are the son of who used to cook food? The Imam said, yes, it was a profession to cook food. Your mother was from a family of blacks. And the Imam said, yes, her skin was dark. Your mother was black and she was evil. The Imam said, if you're speaking the truth, then may God give her the opportunity to be good. And if you're lying, may God forgive you. When the Christian saw the kind attitude of the Imam, he became very embarrassed and understood the great personality he was standing in front of. He was embarrassed and immediately said sorry to the Imam and then accepted Islam. Imam Bakr was not safe from the evil plans and tyranny of Bani Umayyah and he was put in prison several times for no reason. One day, Hasham bin Abdul Malik called Imam from Medina. The Imam came with his son Imam Sadiq to Hasham's court. Hasham had already told his companions that when the Imam came, they will insult and humiliate and make fun of him. But the Imam took advantage of those moments very well. Oh Muhammad bin Ali, there is always someone among you who claims to be an Imam of the Muslims, while neither of you have any knowledge of religion nor knowledge of the world. Hasham was silent after this, and then his companions one by one began to attack on the Imam from their tongues. And when everyone finished, the Imam said, O oh people, what are you saying and what do you want? God has guided you through us and will end you through us. And if you have a materialistic kingdom, then do know that we own such empires that will remain forever. We are from Bani Hashim and God has said that Bani Hashim are the most righteous. And this way, the Imam with his wisdom and courage silenced the people of Sham and humiliated Bani Umayyah. And Bani Umayyah had no choice except to put Imam and his son in prison. When the Imam was put to prison, the people who lived in the prison began to be influenced by the Imam. Even the watchman of the prison told Hasham that if the Imam further lived in the prison, then a revolution would start. Then Hasham sent the Imam to Medina due to his compulsion.